Hey there folks, this is GreenyXI, welcoming you right back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 7, this is episode 36. In the last episode, we nabbed the first huge materia of four away from Shinra. In this episode, we're going to Fort Condor, somewhere we could have come earlier on to use as a name, but we never did. And we could have practiced the minigame then as well, but we never did. If you want to see where it is, it's just outside the Mythical Caves, uh, around the area of the Chocobo Ranch. If you look on the map, it's on the right continent near the bottom. Let's get going. This is going to be for the second huge materia, like I said. And this time around, it's gonna be. It's gonna be the big mini game. We'll help you, of course we will. So, yeah, this whole episode's gonna be like a mini game. Might be able to do one minor little thing as well next time. Uh, just later on in the episode, I mean. We'll see. I'm not sure how long this mini game's gonna go on for, because it can go for quite a while. It's something very different from the rest of the game. You won't see it anywhere else in the game. But yeah, this is Fort Condor. It's quite nice actually on the inside. It's got a free inn over there. I think it's free. Cheap anyway. It's got a shop which we could have visited earlier, but there was really no need to. Closer. Make sure to talk to this guy. Never thought anyone would ever climb up here. In a minute now, this will be a battlefield against Shinra. You better get down before you get involved. A battlefield. We can't overlook that. Shinra, the hell are those jackasses doing here? Uh-oh. Peter, you have a problem with Shinra too. After all, you climbed up here. Why not listen to what I have to say? Okay. Do you know what's at the top of this mountain? At the top of the mountain is the condor with an egg. You could see it from the outside on the map as well. Apparently, it's a reactor. Oh, who knew? Yeah, it's a special material in it. It's the huge materia. I'm surprised another huge materia is in the snowy lands, because it's not. I just expected it to be after there's quite a lot of snow on the world. If we go that far, what can I say? Well, we'll be able to do something if you leave it up to us. That's the right decision. We gotta try and win this one though. We gotta try our bestest. Okay, we'll do. Let's go. Make sure to bring a bit of gill. I'm not sure how much gill we go. 80,225. There should be plenty. I mean, there should be. The item shop over there, the weapon shop and all that, is pretty crap by this point. It is pointless now. It sells tents, I suppose. That's one good thing. So let's do it on our strategy. The enemy is targeting this mountain's reactor and we'll be climbing to reach it. We must set a trap and hire soldiers to protect the place. This is all we have. The village doesn't have any money. Even if we wanted to fight, our hands are tied because we're broke. Village? You don't got any houses or anything. Got about three people here as well. <laughs> so, each soldier, 400 gil. If we hire 20 soldiers, it's 8,000 gil. That should be plenty, shouldn't it? But yeah, we gotta pay. If you win this, you get a good summon material. One of the best. One of the ones that are really, truly useful in the game. Even if you don't like using them for damage kind of thing. Because it doesn't just do damage. Let me put the timer on a sec, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna explain everything as we go through, so I'll do. Ready? Might be worth saving before you come in, yeah? I did, anyway. This minigame is a tower defense game. If you've played Final Fantasy Crystal Defenders, that iOS game is out on the DS and the PSN as well. I think it's on DSN. But yeah. You need to protect. Let's go up. The shed up here. If an enemy gets to the shed, you have to fight them. That's all. You just have a battle, so you can carry on with the minigame even if they reach the top, I think. And they come from down here. They can also come from... Can they come from a couple of... No? Okay, they just come from the bottom then. So what we got to do is set up the units above the line. There's like a red line. You can't see it for some reason. There it is, when you put the enemy screen on. So just above the red line, make sure to put some fighters and defenders what's the difference between an attacker okay so an attacker is good against the beasts but bad against the regular fighters and over here i'm gonna put another fighter i think they can come from like back there as well but i can't remember for certain so there's something to look out for because of that what i'm gonna do 
this chip. What does he do? There he is. Defender there. There are a couple of units that are pretty pointless. Shooters being one of them. They're good for Wyverns, the flying type, so I think I will get one of them. Spend as much money as you need to on this bit, I think. You'll get plenty of money later in the game anyway for other things. Repairers are good. They're healers. They're white mages. No, I don't want to stop your head. And put another repairer done by yet. It's worth having them. They really help. As you expect from a white mage. And one more over by... Because there's no unit directly by you, I'm going to check a fight up there as well. Now then, there's a couple of things. One of which I'm going to put by you. Catapults I find really useless. Worker set bombs, uh, I'm not too fast about them, I never use them. I tried them, but I never use them. Thousand gil. We'll chuck one of those there, they're expensive, but... You know. And, but yeah. It doesn't. I don't know why you, you can't place things in some places. I must have been too close to someone. And by yet. And I think I'll do. You can still set things up as you go along. So. Speed. Have a look on the right for the speed. You can turn the speed up. I can't remember the controls are to do that. R1 and L1. And L2 and R2 as well. So we're going to put the speed on full. Because otherwise this can drag on so much. The red bar on the left. Or the seafood bar with the filling up with red. It shows how many enemies there are. There's only one, so it isn't that full. There are three of them. Fourteen of us. We can stop pull more as well. We've got plenty of money and stuff. Maybe I should have put that a bit closer and put it down there. The tri... Tri stoner. Just gotta wait for them to come up now. It does drag on this minigame. This is why I didn't want to show it earlier in the game, because you're seeing it now anyway, and it's not the most exciting minigame in the world. In terms of speed. I like how the music is from Midgar from so long ago. Something in Midgar, what happened to Midgar that made this music happen? Junon as well, I think. Oh dear, I can't remember. Once the enemies start getting closer to your units, it gets a bit more exciting. There is a boss at the end of it. Not a boss in the traditional sense, but a boss in the they have a hard enemy to fight sense. I think if the boss makes it to the top, then you've got to fight it as a boss. But I've never done that, and I have no idea how that works. Much health there, haven't I? Don't you need to? Counted an enemy, this will be happening every time. So, leave it to it. As well as that, you can get him over to help. You can control them, but it's not automatic. Really. One down. Let's have him go for him. The flying ones are harder to kill. You really need more shooters for it. Carry on, do it like. So what I'm going to do is get another shooter by you and have him target the Wyvern. Twelve enemies out here. Oh god. They're all going through the middle as well. I want to move this. Can you move it? I don't think you can. Hold on. Carry on. Do we like direction? Let's move it like that instead, so it is aiming more at the end. Okay. I'm gonna get the repair to heal up this guy. It's going a lot quicker than I remember, so that's good. I'm gonna bring him down by that. I suppose the repair can come down as well. Him. Attack or whatever, shoot uh, just do some damage. I like to press X when the thingy comes up to the dialogue box, so that makes them do whatever the hell they want. It's quicker, quicker than giving them all things to do. Okay, done by that. Because I don't think things are going to be easy on this side either. I'm going to chuck a defender. As well as another repairer. We've still got loads of money. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to do a shooter. Oh well. I'm going to use four more. Let's 
What's he doing below? He's shooting, is he? That's two of them, that's why. <laughs> okay, carry on with that. I didn't realise there were enemies coming over here as well. She is going to heal him. These aren't doing any healing for some reason. I'll get another heal over here. There we go. It's not hard in the game, but if you don't have the gill for it, then you're gonna have problems, you know. Oh god! Not a very good healer, are you, woman? Bloody hell. She is not a fighter. Don't let the enemy do too much if you can help it. Shoot that. Good for weapons. I'm gonna do. Send him over here. It takes a while for him to move there though, so it might not work out very well. We hope for the best. Why are they fighting? Center enemies are doing fine. Over here is fine. These are coming to the middle. And these are going to come up here. Shit, look at this. This is bad. Uh, defender. Ah, oh, they're going over there now, are they? We'll probably be left over with about 5,000 guild by the end of this, which ain't much, but. It's okay, it's okay.
bloody units here we are. There's a couple up here. Completely forgot about them. So what are they going to do? Let's come down. Attack him. Directly. So then he's the only one left now. If we lose with all these characters... Well, I don't think we should. It might be a close thing, because he's got so much health and he does do a lot of damage. And there's no unit that's particularly strong against him, kind of thing. But... Yeah. What I'm going to do now, then? Get them all down. Maybe shooters would be good, actually, because this guy can't hit shooters that well, as you'd expect. <laughs> but shooters don't do that much damage, either, so... Who knows? Who knows? Why do they stop healing the characters? Unit. Here we go! It begins! 50 damage per hit. You see that? Like I said, this is the last enemy. So don't worry if you lose a couple of units. Don't worry if you lose all your units so long as you do. He's nearly done though. Defenders seem like a good shout. Defenders, repairmen, and a couple of shooters. They don't do much damage, but looks like it's worth it. We did it! Oh, thank god. <laughs> we never have to do that again, so that's good. That was wonderful, thank you. I don't see I will attack now. Yep. Arg! Oh no, the condo is dead. But there was an egg. So... Would you go outside and see what it was? Oh, we will indeed. Just for you, sir. The summon materia? Phoenix. Everyone knows Phoenix from other Final Fantasies. But yeah, there's another condo now, so it doesn't matter... Well, it does matter that the other one died, but... Um, it's another one to protect the reactor or something, maybe? Or, you know, it can just fly off. Is a... <laughs> Something like that. Like I said, this is a good piece of material. I want to take Ultima off him. Put Phoenix on. It takes a lot to level her up, but that's because Phoenix, while it does fire damage to all enemies, it also revives every one of your characters, so to be able to use it more than once in a battle is quite cheap. <laughs> Which is why it takes a lot to level her up. Uh, I think she should have Ultima. I mean, it will be Tiffa, you know what I mean. Oh, funny, then he flashed. So there we go. We have got Phoenix, but no huge materia. How weird. Any reason? Hmm. <laughs> Don't ask me why I went up on there. I didn't mean to. I meant to talk to the guy. Okay. Gone. Be sure and report to my father, too. Make sure you do. Because... Hold on. I'm just gutted that we don't have much money left. We had like 18,000, now we're down to about 3, probably. Ooh, one and a half. <laughs> I probably did that in the least efficient way possible. Wait really a minute. Thanks. Although there isn't anything we can give you, we'll make sure you can stop in and stay any time, so we should have dropped by. We could have done that anyway, though. Received huge material. This is the second one. So now what we got to do next is head back to Medial. <laughs> it wasn't in the reactor after all. When that reactor was built, they forced us to help. That's how we knew that was inside the reactor. I knew this day would come, so after the Shinra left, I sneaked in and took the material. I didn't mean to fool you, but I guess that's how it ended up. I'm really sorry. Yep. Put it that way, we're really grateful. So the last huge material that Shin was after is in the underwater reactor in Junon. It's just the last huge material, but you can get a fourth one as well. Don't ask me. I, I don't know why they did that. Shin was probably on high alert since we already messed with him. Always mess with him. How about we take a break and go see that little fella for a bit? It's worth doing. 
Back to Medeal. We have an issue now. Remember the car, the calm story with Cloud going around with Sephiroth and everything? And remember how now we found out that it's all... It might not all be the truth. Everything is going to be explained and everything for when we go back to Medeal. And the issue I have with that is that it's a long part, just like in Calm. So, if you didn't like the Calm thing, then you're not going to like this. It's going to explain everything. It is interesting to see why Cloud is all so mixed up. It is. Oh, the condo's gone. <laughs> so, it is interesting. I'm going to try and get it all done in one episode. All of Medeal now that's left. It'll be a long one for Definite. But at the same time, people who don't like the long story bits, it'll be done in one episode. You know, it'll be all over with in a day, kind of thing. So this has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you. See, see. I can't land even though it's on grass. Why is that? Here we go. I'll see you again in a bit. And we'll do the whole medial section. And isn't it a corker? In a bit, folks. <laughs>